Hey guys, today I'm going to do a review of the BlackBerry Style from Boost Mobile, which is the phone I just switched to from the Motorola Triumph on Virgin Mobile. So before I get into the phone, I'm just going to give you, I'll explain to you guys why I switched from the Triumph to the BlackBerry since uh, the Triumph is an Android device and of course the BlackBerry is a BlackBerry. So, um, basically, I really like Android. It has a lot to offer. It has so much, so many apps and so many games, so much you can do with it. Um, the touch screen is great on the Triumph. Here's the Triumph. So you guys know, it's a big touch screen and it's a great device. But, um... I did. I was a BlackBerry user before I uh, went to Android, and I was kind of missing the keyboard when it came to typing uh, emails and things. So I really thought about switching. You know, I thought a lot about the switch to back to BlackBerry because Android does have a lot more to offer um, when it comes to apps and things. But um, when it came down to it, all you know I need the phone for is what you know what I use most, and so I made a list, which I'm going to read to you guys, of all the things I use most on my phone. So I had a horoscope app on my Triumph that I used every day. And I was actually able to get the same exact one on the BlackBerry. Um, instant messaging I can do. I had a checkbook app, so I keep track of my finances. A weather app. I use Shazam for tagging music. Um, let's see. Um, a movie app such as Flickster, which I can get on here. Maps. I can get Google Maps on here. And this phone uh, actually comes with Telenav GPS, which is great. Email, of course, I can do on here. Um, I have a notepad for taking notes. My Facebook, my Twitter, my YouTube. Um, I have to be able to customize because I love changing my phone around. And BlackBerry does offer um, uh, tons of themes that you can change on your phone to customize. Um, a photo editor because I do take pictures so I need a photo editor and of course a good camera and this has a 5 megapixel camera with a flash which is great and you can get photo editing apps um, let's see Amazon apps I do have my Amazon Kindle app on here I can get an Amazon uh, shopping app and I can get an Amazon mp3 app as well uh, that app is not as great as the one on the Android, but uh, why I say that is because you can't view the music you've already purchased. You can purchase new music and download it to your device and share it with people, but you can't view the music you've already purchased or that you purchase on other devices. So that kind of sucks actually, but what I could do is just download the music to my computer and transfer it to my device. It's not a huge deal. Um, Evernote. I use Evernote a lot and I can get that on here and I can view, you know, if I make a note on another device on my computer or my uh, Kindle or something, then I can, I can view it on here and that's very important. And also a unit converter. Um, I actually have a sick child, so I use a unit converter and Evernote a lot for to keep track of her uh, medical needs. So that is the um, the main things that I use, the important things. Um, when it comes to games and entertainment apps and things, those aren't extremely important. And I do have my Kindle, so if there's some games that I can't get on this phone, maybe Angry Birds or Words with Friends or something, then I can play that on my Kindle. 
I can also watch Netflix on my Kindle because I know some people are going to say, you don't have Netflix. But I can watch it on Kindle. I really didn't watch Netflix on my Triumph ever. Um, I watched it, you know, on my computer, on my Kindle. You know, I never watched it on my phone. Um, so that's really my reasoning. Um, I can also, another thing, get my radio on here too. So you can have Pandora, which is my favorite internet radio app. Uh, you can use TuneIn Radio, Slacker Radio, iHeart Radio. So that is, um, you know, you can, I can get everything that I need. And that's what's important. Um, I also have a um, multiple alarms app. So I can set all my alarms and everything. So uh, that's my explanation for why I switched, okay? So I'm going to get into the phone because I know this video is going uh, to be kind of long. Um, on the this side here, you have the headphone jack and the charging port. And then this right here is actually where the SD card goes. And this phone actually comes with an 8 gig card, which is great because usually phones come with 2 gig cards. So I was kind of happy that it came with an 8 gig card there. Um, and you actually have to take the battery cover off to get, a, and then this just pops out. But um, here's the back. It looks really nice. It has this kind of text, this like texture to it. And then of course the camera and the flash. Uh, move my light closer. It's kind of dark. But um, so there's the camera and the flash. Uh, let's see. If you could see that screen there. Uh, let's see. Oh, this side. Uh, you got the volume keys and you have a convenience key here, which you can set. I have it set to Vlingo, which is like a voice automated thing. It's, I don't know. I just, I'm going to compare it to Siri because on iPhone, even though it doesn't talk back to you. But it still does what you tell it to do. You can do text messages. You can upload, um, update your Facebook or your Twitter. You can call people, send um, email. You can do all kinds of voice commands. You can do searches. So it's a really great app. And I'm sure I'll do a review on it. <laughs> okay, so let me open the phone here. So uh, here's your keyboard. Which is which was my main reason for wanting to go back to BlackBerry was the keyboard. And actually, here let me grab my um, my curve. This is the BlackBerry that I the um, last BlackBerry that I had was. I'm turning on uh, the BlackBerry Curve 8530, and you can look at this keyboard. And then look at this one. The keyboards are different. And these keys, um, the keys on the curve are like hard plastic. And they're spaced out. And they're actually smaller than the ones on the style. The style keyboard has been great. These keys are really soft. And they're really easy to type with. Um, there's really, it's a really comfortable keyboard. I was really happy with that. Because the even though I really liked the curved keyboard, they are hard plastic keys. So um, yeah, definitely happy with the keyboard. The keys are bigger than the curve, and they're all touching. They're angled uh, differently. So definitely happy with that. Um, and then this also has BlackBerry OS 6 on it. So if you look, the um, interface is different. So this, on the curve, you have just a row of icons here, and then you hit the BlackBerry key, and here's everything else. Whereas this, you have, uh, you can go, you go up top here, and click, and this menu comes down, you can manage your connections here, you can set your alarm. And then you have all your options down here. 
So it looks it looks really different. So if you did have a BlackBerry that's before BlackBerry 6, uh, it might take a little getting used to, but it's not extremely, uh, it, you know, it's not extremely different. They just made it look different. So you got your profiles over here and your universal search, which you don't even need to click on that. You can just start typing something, which I love because if I want to call somebody, I just type the first couple of letters of their name and it'll come up and I can push send. Um, in the middle here is your notifications. Right now it just has a uh, couple calendar events, but it'll put all your new messages up there and everything. And then down at the bottom here, I have all my apps here. They have these panels instead of uh, like on O. S5 where you click the BlackBerry key and a menu pops up. Well, they have these panels now when you swipe through. You got your favorites, and this will be blank, and you can add whatever you want into there by just uh, highlighting the app, hitting the BlackBerry key, and then just click Add to Favorites. Uh, swipe over, you got your media, your downloads, which I downloaded a lot so far, uh, your frequently used. And then you're back to your all, and when when this bar is highlighted, you can click on it to put it up and down. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, the camera's been great on this. I haven't had any problems with anything so far. Um, of course, if I start having problems, I'll let you guys know. This I've been using it for about three days now, um, and everything's been great. I'm really happy with the phone. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, go ahead and put it in the comments, and I will definitely get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like the video and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.